Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today as you can tell from the title I have a boohoo haul for you but there is a little bit of a twist because I got George involved and she has picked out my entire haul today so I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of nervous I have the bags down here and I've been really good and I haven't looked in them at all so this is gonna be as much of a surprise as it is to you guys to me. I have no idea what's coming up. I am gonna give her a call in a second so she can intro this video with me and hopefully give me some idea as to what is in store for me today. But before we go any further into the video, I wanted to speak about something that is very, very important and very relevant right now. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, we are all on social media all the time and because of that, I'm sure you have seen the huge Black Lives Matter movement that is currently going on. Now this is something that is currently going on, has been going on in the past and needs to continue in the future. Our generation is the generation that I feel is going to make the change to the way majority of black people have to live their lives, have to face discrimination and racism every single day. We are the generation that can change that. So I wanted to do my bit with my platform to encourage you guys to educate yourself, to have those conversations, take them home with you, speak to your parents, speak to your kids, speak to your family members, and please just make sure you are doing your bit to understand the situation and learn what you can do to help. There are so many different things. I, of course, have been doing my bit away from the cameras, away from my social media platforms to to educate myself, to have conversations, and to just learn more about this topic in general it is so, so important. And I just wanted to add this in here to urge you guys to do the same. I do also wanna add in here that although a lot of people, including myself, are going back to posting their normal, regular content, which unfortunately some people deem really irrelevant right now, I feel that my job on my platform is to entertain you guys and distract you from whatever may be going on in your life for at least 15 minutes or so, however long my videos are. And I know the world right now is very very unsettled there is so much uncertainty going on and sometimes we all need that little break so i wanted to come back onto my platforms and be able to post my regular content for you guys in case you do need that escape but that is my job as an influencer that is what i ultimately started my platforms for so although i'm going to be keeping the conversation going and i actually like the fact that this is a very easy movement to include into your day-to-day -day content and post the odd thing here and there if you find it relevant and if i think something's going to be useful to you guys of course it will be on my social media feeds but going back to posting regular content definitely doesn't make me ignorant. It doesn't mean that I am naive to the entire situation. I am merely doing my job here on the internet, I guess. So yeah, please just consider that I'm sure a lot of influencers are doing that too. There is obviously a lot that we keep offline and included in that right now is educating ourselves and doing what we can to help the movement. So yeah, little bit deep there for a second, but it had to be said. I hope it urges you guys to educate yourselves a bit more and also more importantly, just keep the conversation going. That being said, I hope it's all okay with you guys, but we are now gonna get straight on to the video. So I think I'm gonna start this off, like I say, by FaceTiming George. I'm gonna see if she's around. So let's give her a call and we can intro this video together. She hung up on me. Okay, I'm back. I had to wait for George to finish her dinner. So she is now around. I'm gonna give her a call. And yeah, like I said before, try and get some guidance on where this video is about to go. Hello? Oh, stunning. There we go. We can see her. Yeah, amazing. Okay, so I thought I'd give you a quick call. Yes. Just to kind of get a bit of guidance, really. Like, just any hints on what to expect. Okay. Um, I can't actually really remember, so... Great, that's all we need to know. Both of us. Okay. I'm just going to have to explain myself maybe when I see the items. I mean, what did I go for? I think I went for a couple... Should I tell you some of the spoilers in there? Okay, a couple. A couple. I think I went for a couple tie-dye things. Cute, love a bit of tie-dye right now. I like that's a mood at the moment, so I kind of went for a couple of those things. I tried to do some of your, like, loungy wear pieces, because I thought, you know, that's what we're kind of wearing at the moment I Amazing. don't want to go too out there yeah I don't think there's anything crazy unless I've completely forgotten okay that's fine. I feel like you wouldn't have been that harsh, so it's fine. I feel like what I'm gonna do is open everything. So I'm gonna open everything and then try it all on, and then I'll give you a call back and give you my thoughts. At the end, okay. And then if anything happens, like maybe midway through, and you just think, whoa, what the hell's going on here? I'll give you a call. You can always drop me a call. And okay. Maybe I'll try and spare myself. I don't know. Yeah, we can discuss that when it comes to it. But hopefully it won't, because you're so lovely. Okay, babe. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Okay, interesting. I feel like we got no guidance there whatsoever, but surprises are fun. Let's just dig into the bags and see what we have. So like I said to G, I'm basically gonna open all of these now and show you guys. 
Then I will cut to the try on clips where I try literally everything on and you can see what it looks like. Of course, I'm gonna be leaving all of this stuff linked down below in the description. So if you see anything you like the look of, head down there and there will be direct links. Oh, also on that, I do have a discount code, I believe, with Boohoo. It is just EmilyP25. I'll leave that on screen and link down below as well if you wanna save yourself a bit of money. So let's dig in to the first bag. Kind of nervous. Okay, I see florals. Not very me, and she knows that. So this is gonna be interesting. I feel like I'm just gonna go with this first because it's literally the first thing I picked out of the bag. God. Okay, I've literally just read the description of this and already I'm frightened. So this says on the bag that it is a floral frill detail wrap maxi dress. Okay, I mean the maxi dress part is a bit of me. Just the floral and the frill part is maybe a little bit of a miss, but I'm not gonna judge anything until I try it on. I am intrigued to try that one on because I feel like it's something that will look so much better when it is on and off the hanger it just looks really questionable. So yeah, let's wait to see what that looks like. I'm literally just grabbing things out of the bag at random by the way, but this is a cute little knit it seems. This is a boyfriend cardigan in cream, medium to large, she knows me. Anything oversized is right on my street. I'm sure you guys know that by now. This is like a super cozy knit cream cardigan. It almost has like a cable knit design on it. And then these cute little buttons down at the front. Cardigans like this, especially over springtime, these are so perfect to layer with literally any outfit. Cute, I like that one. Oh my God, I love this. I got her some stuff from this range as well. So Boohoo have come out with their pride range and guys, it is so cute. Like all of the pieces are unisex. I absolutely love all of the designs. And I picked up George, I think a couple of things actually from that range. But she's got me one of the t-shirts, which I'm so happy about because I was actually hoping that she would. I think I actually hinted to her like the other day. I was like, oh my God, they've come out with their pride range and it's all really cute. And yeah, seems she took the hint. So basically she's picked me up this kind of like tanned t-shirt and in the middle it just says love is for everyone, which couldn't be more true. I absolutely love this little slogan tee. And then on the back it has official written in the pride colours, which is just so amazing. I just think it's such a nice design. All of their stuff seems to be like a kind of oversized, more boxy style fit. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna love this one. She also did get in a large and I'm wondering whether I could get away with this as a little t-shirt dress. Maybe, we're gonna have to see how long it comes down. This feels so weird to just not know what is in a haul. Obviously, usually I pick out everything for my hauls and yeah, having somebody else do it feels really weird. Kind of feels like Christmas day. So, I'm seeing a bit of tie-dye with this next piece. Not gonna lie, I feel like I hinted on this one, but she grabbed me this really cute tie-dye bikini. It's in this kind of blue and white tie-dye pattern, but it also has some pinks running through it. And I just love anything bando, especially for swimwear. They are great for a tan. So hopefully when the weather finally picks up again, I'm gonna be rocking this in my garden to tan, cause lockdown's still a thing. She's also, of course, got the bottoms. I think there were multiple different bottoms that you could get with this. Okay, so she's gone for these really cute high-waisted ones which I actually love. I don't own many high-waisted bikini bottoms, which is weird because literally all of my like jeans and my trousers and stuff, I always wear high-waisted. So I do love this style. I think they're gonna look so cute together. Like this on holiday, if hopefully we're able to go on our holidays with a white sarong or something would look absolutely stunning. Love that. Okay, no idea what this is, but it's just fallen on the floor. So let's go for this next. All this says is that it's a corset top. Interesting. It looks very small. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God love this okay george has i think two of these tops she has one in black and one in white i can't remember exactly where she got them from but they're just stunning like they go with everything and they're such a staple in her wardrobe so i'm so happy she's picked this up for me as you guys can see it's like a silk kind of structured bardo style top so it's completely strapless so again another piece that i am really happy with okay that was the first bag which was the smaller of the two but that went quite well so I'm hoping bag number two is gonna be just as good. So the first item I saw, again, I feel like is another little loungewear piece. Obviously, as you guys just saw on the FaceTime call, she did say that she went for a couple of loungewear pieces because she knows that's literally what I live in. I saw this exact set on the website and I so nearly picked it up for her, but I think she already has it. So that's why I didn't end up going for it, but I did look at it and think, really hope George sees that and picks it up for me because it is new in on the website. So I'm hoping this is still in stock because I feel like a lot of you guys will love this. So it's basically like a really slouchy knit jumper on at the top. Obviously in this gorgeous cream color, which I'm loving at the moment, goes great with a tan. I say it too much in my videos, but it's just true. And then on the bottom half, it has these really cute little high-waisted shorts. I'm not gonna lie, these look tiny. I'm hoping they have some stretch to them. I mean, they look like they do. So we'll see what they look like on, but yeah, you literally can't go wrong with loungewear sets like that. Oh my God, okay, spotted some jeans. Oh my God, did I get her these as well? I feel like I might've got her these. If not, they were very similar. Okay, no, these are a different style. Boohoo is one of my favorite places to get jeans, but I always find that so many of their sizes go out of stock literally so quickly. So I do really struggle to 
grab my size most of the time but George has managed to get these in a 10 so I'm hoping these are quite new in so they do just go down into this little detail on the knee they have like a ripped knee on both sides and then at the ankle they have this cute little hem I love details like this where it's kind of distressed I just think it makes them look a lot more relaxed I also love pairing this kind of distressed design with heels and dressing them up for nights out for example again it's just a super easy comfortable option to wear really happy with these God, I feel like there is so much in this haul <gasps> Oh my god, obsessed. So, this is something else from the Pride range. And again, this is something that I saw. I think I got George the t-shirt version of this. But she has picked me up a hoodie from that range. She's got it in an extra large because the girl knows me too well. Again, this might be something that I can get away with as like a jumper dress. But we'll have to see, obviously, with the length and everything. But this is another one of their designs. So this one is a little bit more simple in the front. You, me, him, her, they, them, us, whoever, everyone. And then over the top, it has together written in a kind of like script writing. It's just so cute. So then on the back, which is where the main detail is it has exactly that written again but just in like a huge text i just love this i love the message behind it and i think it's such a cool design as well the hoodie itself is kind of like an acid wash which again i love so george you've done well on these i'm not gonna lie okay more tie-dye and i think more swimwear oh my god is this a one piece okay no this is a bikini but it just comes in one set these look minuscule like i mean tiny is that the top oh my god it's the top i literally thought these were the bottoms and they looked so small i mean it still looks absolutely tiny so i'm not sure if this is gonna fit me obviously i need to undo the strings but even the cup size looks quite small but this is a really cute tie-dye bikini you're going to be able to see this so much better on so i'm not even going to show you it for that long but the bottoms are super cute they look really high-waisted again which i love they do look a little bit more cheeky in the back so i'm intrigued to see how these fit but i love this tie-dye like this print is me to a t i'm gonna leave their entire website link down below if you want to go and have a shop and just see what they have in right now and definitely go and click that link and just be quick if you see anything you like snap it up don't question it because i swear it will fly off the shelf if you think about it for more than two seconds regardless this is really cute and i'm looking forward to trying that on i've just picked this out and i feel like this is the first thing where i'm a little bit unsure let's say so this says it's an oversized check brushed wool jacket i feel like this is so george but i also feel like she knows that it's probably not me i mean i'm probably judging a book by its cover and i apologize for that but let's actually get it out of the bag and see what it's like have we ever seen me pick up something like this maybe i need to see the website image i feel like sometimes if i judge something by what it looks like off the hanger and i've literally not seen it on anyone i can't even begin to comprehend what it's going to look like so i feel like i'm majorly judging a book by its cover but i'm going to give george a call see what her thought process was behind this maybe she wants me to try something new okay i'm halfway through like unboxing everything everything's been great so far i really had like i was doing fine <laughs> um what was the thought process behind this Okay, do you know what? This is what I just said. I just said I feel like I need to see it on someone. Right, hang on, hang on. She looked very cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, she looked cool, right? Yeah, okay. I was not getting those vibes when I pulled pulled it out of the bag. I've got another photo of it which I'll send you now, like that kind of vibe. But, you know, we don't know what's arrived. We can't see these things. This is just an online situation. Well, I feel like it's got a completely different pattern to it. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God, really? Yeah, sorry, that is not the same thing. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, look. That is not the same it thing. It's quite thick in your photo. It looks like a coat. It is. It's a coat. It's a full-on coat. And it's 20 degrees outside. Wow. Well, maybe if you start out like that girl, you know. I'll try. Yeah. yeah. I don't like what I think about it. <laughs> I'm going to go and get my bags now. Okay, fast. Oh, God, right. I'm so nervous for you to open everything. Okay, bye. <laughs> that was interesting. The picture she sent me, it's the same jacket, but it just has, like, a different design to it. So, basically, this one has a load of lines to it, if that makes sense. Like, it's more of a detailed pattern, whereas the other one was just, like, big block check. So, I feel like I might have liked that a little bit more, but we're going to style it up. We're going to see what I can do. But, yeah, maybe the first item that I'm a bit interested by let's say okay i feel like this is one of the last two items it looks like some loungewear okay yeah these are basic soft mix and match lounge jogger love some joggers literally can never have enough again boohoo have some of the best joggers that i own okay cute they've got a drawstring waist and everything this is literally me to a t so these are just some really simple tan colored joggers i absolutely love these just paired with like little white crop tops or some hoodies they're so easy to wear around the house of course and we're all at home right now so loungewear is a must oh there is one thing that i'm not too sure on the drawstring waist is fake 
I can't be dealing with fake pockets or fake drawstring waist. So these should look great on and hopefully we will still love them. Final thing. Oh, it's white. Wow, okay. Crep off the shoulder wrap bodysuit. Interesting. Love anything in white, so I feel like I'm gonna love this anyway. Wow, there's a lot of material going on here. Oh my god, this is cute. Okay, I saw this again on the website. But this is basically a long sleeve, kind of really low neck detail bodysuit. So it has a plunge neckline to it, and then it has these gorgeous, more of like a statement sleeve. This looks cute, and it feels really lightweight, which is perfect for this time of year when it's a little bit warmer, and you can get away with just wearing this on a night out with some jeans or something. So I'm intrigued about that one, but it looks pretty. Okay, that is everything that George picked up for me. I am interested. I feel like there wasn't as many things in there than I thought I might question. So the girl's done good. I mean, I literally trust her with anything. So I didn't think this was going to be horrendous. But yeah, I'm intrigued about a couple of items. Like I said before, I feel like there are some things that you just need to see on to be able to gauge an idea of what it actually looks like. So I am now going to cut to a clips of me trying all of these items on. I will give you guys my thoughts and I will then come back to you and give you my final verdict. I've just hung everything up on my little rail here. This is how I want to kind of do my hauls from now on anyway i promise the background is going to get a little bit more interesting i hope anyway as some of you probably know i've literally just moved into this house and i've finally sorted my office out enough to be able to film but i still need to sort out my filming background but on that i just want to say also thank you guys so much for all of the love on the moving vlogs the house tour and everything i've been loving sharing everything with you guys and bringing you along on this little journey in our new house it's just insane to me that so many of you take the time to watch the videos and comment and everything it's been so lovely so far so yeah i thought i'd just add that in there and say thank you but like I said I've hung everything up on the hangers and I'm just gonna get straight into trying everything on so first item like I thought I definitely needed to try this one on to see what it looks like I do really like it it's just so tight around here like I'm not sure if I'm wearing it wrong that's how tight it is I can't remember what size this is in but maybe it's a question of just going up a size and it'll be fine this isn't typically something I would go for but I do really like this dress especially for spring summer time it's just the easiest thing to throw on I love the pattern of it I think it's actually such a cute floral design like it's quite understated so it's not too out there but it definitely still adds like pattern into your wardrobe i know you guys can't really see it in full length so i'm really sorry for that but like i said it is a maxi dress so it just goes all the way down to the floor it does also have a little slit in the leg here which is really cute but i think because it's quite tight around here and it doesn't wrap over all the way this slit goes quite high up which is why i'm holding my hand here just in case overall i do really like the dress i think it's such a nice shape and it's super flattering to this kind of area so it's cute i just think i need to size up at least one this cardigan is so cute you can't go wrong with a basic white knit in the wardrobe i'm gonna get so much wear out of this in the springtime i have just layered it with my little crop that i was wearing at the start of the video and i think these colors look so nice together i'm not gonna lie i would usually go for a more cropped cardigan than this but with this kind of midi length if you're wearing a bralette you can tuck the hem under the bralette and it makes it like a really cute oversized crop style anyway so that is probably what i'm gonna do with this one but the knit on it and everything is really comfortable to wear it doesn't feel itchy at all which is so good so yeah very simple very effective and I like it. Okay, this little bikini is so cute. I'm loving these high-waisted bottoms. They're a lot more high-waisted than I thought, but I'm kind of happy about that because I just think they are so flattering and I almost feel like this looks like a little one-piece, which I'm not mad at because actually as a one-piece, this would look so cute. But yeah, I just think the details are absolutely stunning. Like I said before, I'm loving tie-dye and this is definitely no exception. The top half feels really supportive, so much more supportive than I thought it would be. But this bikini does actually come with detachable straps. So if you did want to strap some on here to offer you a little bit more support, then you could definitely do that. This is definitely such a holiday piece, but equally it will look just as cute in the garden. <laughs> okay, so this little t-shirt I'm really obsessed with. Obviously, I feel like you can't really go wrong with something like this. It's just an absolute staple, but I thought the design on the front, the simplistic look of it, and just like a little slogan like this, it definitely still has that message in there. But I feel like these are pieces that people would wear daily. So obviously, George picked this up for me in a large, and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I probably could get away with it as a t-shirt dress obviously with some cycling shorts paired underneath but wearing it as a t-shirt with some jeans i'd probably crop it myself so i'd grab like a scrunchie or something and tie the front and then you can literally just tuck this little bit under and you have a cute little crop top so yeah there are multiple ways that i would style this i'd also probably crop it at the back and tuck the back in like this and then have the rest of the t-shirt kind of hanging forward so this is a massive thumbs up and i'm now really excited to try on the hoodie as well because i know that i'm literally gonna love that i mean it's so me this little corset top i do really like the design of it and the way it fits and everything george got the in a 10 and it is literally because i told her to get my tops in a 10 so it's not her fault at all but it is a little bit small for me 
I think I could just do with a little bit more room in this area. So obviously if I size up just once, I'm sure it would be absolutely fine, but it's the perfect little staple. Like I'm sure you guys can see how useful this will be. Even just for layering and everything to throw like a blazer over the top or something. It's really comfortable to wear and it actually offers so much more support than I thought it would. I think it's because of the kind of structured wiring detail in it, but yeah, it's really cute. I want to say they had this in other colors because I think I saw it on there. So this is definitely a piece that I would just grab loads of colors in and it'll be such a good basis for literally every single outfit. Okay, this little loungewear set is so cute. I love the material of it. It's super comfortable. Like anything knitted at the moment, I'm all for, especially in loungewear. I do love this kind of slash neckline, but the one thing I would say is this does run quite small. I can't remember exactly what size George got it in, but I feel like the shorts especially are just quite tight on the bottom half. So yeah, this is definitely a piece that I would size up in if you are thinking of getting it. I want to say they also had this in other colours, like a really nice camel kind of tan colour and also I think black. Could be completely wrong but you know me, I absolutely love white so this is perfect. Okay, I've thrown this t-shirt back on to show you guys the jeans just because they are so much more low-waisted than I thought they were going to be. So I did put a little crop top on and then I was like, mm, no. This literally does nothing for me. I usually always wear high-waisted jeans. I'm sure you guys know that. Either high-waisted or at least mid-rise. I just don't get on with low-rise jeans. One, I find them really uncomfortable. And two, I just think they're not very flattering for my body type. So that is why I thought I would throw a big t-shirt over the top. But the jeans themselves are actually so cute. Like the actual style of them, I'm obsessed with. And I think I'd probably pair these with massive oversized hoodies. Sometimes I love just wearing outfits that are all completely oversized. I actually love how really big and baggy things pair together sometimes especially with like some chunky trainers on the bottom to make a bit of a statement they're going to be perfect for that so i'm quickly going to pan the camera down so you guys can see these in full length so this is what they look like i'm obsessed with the rips in the knees i love any distressed detail but my favorite detail is definitely the hem at the bottom i just think it's quite different like i've not really seen a style like these and i really like them but all around the waist and everything they do fit really nicely and also on the back they are still quite flattering like they don't give you no shape if you know what i mean yeah i do really like them and like i've already said to you guys this brand of jeans which i can't pronounce and i can't quite remember the name of is literally amazing like they're so inexpensive for what they are right literally one of my favorite things and i feel like we all knew it probably would be i'm not gonna lie it's just so me like hoodies anything oversized it's just right up my street so yeah i'm obsessed with this again it's part of the pride collection so i love that as well and i think this is one of my favorite designs that they did have from the whole collection i feel like boohoo at the moment have got so good with their like graphic tee designs especially on boohoo man which you guys know that i shop from all the time and i actually picked george up a couple of things from that and i hope she likes them because i know for a fact that she definitely doesn't usually shop from that section but yeah they have so many cute things and if you buy those t-shirts in a large or an extra large or a medium depending on your size then you can definitely wear them as t-shirt dresses as well so they're such a good shout the girl knows me well and she would have known that i would absolutely love this right so like i thought with this bikini it is a little bit small in terms of the cup size so i'm gonna hold my hands here just for my own decency but the concept of it like the tie-dye and everything is so freaking cute this would be the perfect bikini to tan in for me the only thing I would say about it is it doesn't have too much stretch like the material isn't overly forgiving so if you do like the look of it I would say either size up once maybe or just bear in mind that there isn't going to be too much give to it so yeah cute idea cute color but just on me not the most flattering okay so I'm back wearing my little crop top because I've just thrown on this I want to say almost like woolen jacket I'm not really sure what this is and obviously this is the item that when I pulled it out of the bag I wasn't too sure do you know what I do kind of like it I totally understand the concept that George was going for and when she sent me that picture which I will put on screen so you guys can see the kind of vibe that she was looking at when she saw it on the model I do really like that and I think it could look really cool dressed up. I feel like I would probably switch out the top for a white crop top or something like that just because I think it would tie in a lot better but I feel like I judged this one a little bit too soon and I actually do like it a lot more than I thought. So I suppose that's the lesson, don't judge things too soon. I am pleasantly surprised by this one. So now I've put these joggers on, I've realised that they are a style that I never usually go for. Like I said you guys, Boohoo have some of the best ones that I own but I usually go for, I think they're like their vintage style so they're super high waisted and they have a drawstring waist that works. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of still mad at this drawstring waist for just being there for no reason. But yeah, the other style are just a lot more kind of oversized and relaxed fitting. Whereas these, now I've put them on, they are a lot tighter fitting. They honestly feel a little bit more like a legging rather than a jogger, or at least the joggers that I'm used to wearing, I guess. So as you can tell, they do cling to the body a lot more. Like they are so much tighter around my legs. But I actually find them really comfortable. And I think these with an oversized hoodie would look so nice. Boohoo honestly have so many styles of joggers, so I'm sure you'll be able to find some that suit you. But either way, I like them so much more than I thought I would. Pleasantly surprised by this piece. I'm not going to lie. When I picked it out of the bag, I just thought there was a lot of material going on. So I couldn't quite make out how it was going to fit. So I put it on like this, which I think is how I'm going to wear it. But I did also just pull it off the shoulders. And I think this looks 
really really nice especially for the spring summer time like this is a little pub outfit it would be so cute oh my god i'm literally dreaming of those days but you literally can't go wrong with like a white long sleeve bodysuit i think it's a really pretty piece if you know what i mean it looks way more expensive than i know it is because i mean boohoo is so cheap for what it is and this is definitely going to be one of those staple pieces but yeah it's definitely a piece that i can see myself wearing quite a lot especially to dress up to go out in and stuff but yeah really cute definitely a holiday piece as well actually if we get to go this will be coming away with me <laughs> that is everything that george picked up for me from boohoo i really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of concept of video we've never done it before but we have filmed one of these on george's channel so i picked out all of her clothes if you want to go and see what i picked her out then i will leave that link down below in the description make sure you also subscribe while you're over there also just quickly don't forget that i'm going to leave all of the items linked down below in the description and i will be leaving my discount code in case you guys want to get some money off your order okay so that is going to round off today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this leave this video a thumbs up if you did and we can probably do one of these in the future but that being said i'm going to wrap it up here so thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will speak to you all very soon in my next one bye guys Woo! Thank you.